Hey all, it's Janae from Thrillist. Come with us to escape the city for a weekend in Palm Springs. We're hopping in the all new Honda CRV Hybrid, a compact SUV capable of getting anywhere worth going. And trust us, Palm Springs is worth it. Just a short trip from cities like LA, Las Vegas, Phoenix, and San Diego. All you have to do is hit the road. We're gonna be showing you what to eat, drink, and do once you get there. So let's go explore. Before getting to Palm Springs, we stopped to visit the iconic Cabazon dinosaurs. This roadside attraction is about 20 minutes outside of Palm Springs and will make you feel like you've been dropped on the set of Jurassic Park. After our road trip in, we worked up an appetite, so we headed over to Cafe La Jefe. This place was genuinely so cute, and I was obsessed with the inside and the outside patio. And although there were great coffee options, don't sleep on the food either. I got the breakfast bowl, which was on point. Caffeinated and ready to go, next we hit the aerial tramway. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous to go on the tram because once you reach the top, you're at an elevation of 8,500 feet. But the views going up the mountain were absolutely stunning. After being so high up, we decided it was time to go way down under to Ruby and Ozzy's. We ordered a seafood sampler, oyster shooters, and their popular Mexican pokey marinated in an unforgettable sauce. Next, we went to check in to the Ace Hotel and Swim Club, which really was a desert oasis. Everything in my room screamed, you're in the desert, but you'll be cozy in the desert. The hotel even had a beautiful pink mural and fruit trees everywhere you looked. And I can't forget to mention this beautiful pool area that low key made me second guess leaving. After checking in, we decided to see what Palm Canyon Drive had to offer. This strip is the shopping district of Palm Springs. It was honestly so nice to just walk around the downtown area and look at all the shops. Before dinner, we decided to get a drink at PS Air Bar. It's an airplane themed speakeasy located in the back of a liquor store. It's genuinely one of the coolest speakeasy themes I've ever seen. Everything from the seats to the baggage claim signs in the bar felt and looked so authentic. Some of the cocktails even had the cutest ice cubes shaped as tiny airplanes. To finish the night, we went to dinner at Clandestino, which is a newer Mexican restaurant in Palm Springs. This is the type of restaurant where you can close your eyes and tell the waiter to just keep the food coming. I got this cocktail with glitter in it and it was so tasty. After a restful night's sleep in the desert, it was time for day two in Palm Springs. So we grabbed brunch at Cheeky's. And y'all, this place absolutely did not miss. I was forced to try a Bloody Mary for the first time. Because we were starving, we ordered their signature cinnamon roll along with buttermilk and fresh corn pancakes, eggs benedict, and a couple rounds of avocado toast. After brunch, we got a little active and zen at Super Bloom Color Therapy Yoga. This place focuses on connection through the practices of yoga, color, and sound healing. We experienced a sound bath, which was honestly unlike anything I've ever experienced. But not too zen to get some lunch though. We went to El Patio where we actually ate on a patio. We treated ourselves to some margs and of course more Mexican food. Next, we are ready to get our shopping on at Mojave Flea Trading Post. If you're looking to get the perfect desert fit, room accessories, or jewelry, this is the spot. All that shopping helped me work up an appetite, so we went to farm for dinner. Everything was covered in greenery and beautiful pink flowers. Items are prepared fresh and made to order here, and you could taste it in the quality of every bite. We decided to end our night and our time in Palm Springs at Toucan's Tiki Lounge for one of their weekly drag shows. I'll say this, the girls earn their tips and I was entertained all night. It's been real. Until next time, Palm Springs.